detailing how a teacher at Griffin Middle School is accused of letting students fight one another in her classroom during school hours. This report says it happened more than once. ABC 27's Gabriela Mercurio explains what happened in her classroom, parents' reactions, and how the school district is reacting. Parents of children at Griffin Middle School were shocked to find out what's been happening in a sixth grade classroom. However, the school district is taking immediate action by terminating the teacher and conducting an internal investigation. Yeah, it's really scary. <laughs> it makes me not want to put my child in that school. Kirsty Henry's oldest daughter is a seventh grader at Griffin Middle School. She says her daughter told her about fights that were happening between students in one of the teacher's classrooms. Like, what in the world goes on here? And I posted it on Facebook, and I'm like, y'all need to check up on y'all kids. Like, because <laughs> that's, that's. Crazy. Court documents show that Griffin Middle School teacher Angel Footman allowed three fights between sixth grade students in her classroom at the end of March. This is completely out of left field. Something like this has never really taken place on the Leon County School campus. Leon County spokesperson Chris Petley says the district was notified of the fights after administration reported videos of them to the school resource deputy. According to documents, students say the fights were pre-planned and Footman told them 30 seconds, no screaming or yelling and no phones. Footman also does not intervene or attempt to stop the fights, call for help, or leave the classroom to get help. She claims the fights all happen too fast for her to do anything and admits that she has poor classroom management skills. Petley says one superintendent, Rocky Hanna, found out about the fights. He took immediate action by reaching out to law enforcement and terminating Footman. Footman was arrested and charged with contributing to the delinquency of a minor for facilitating fights in her classroom last Friday. Petley says that the school district is working with law enforcement and actively conducting an internal safety and security investigation. They're talking to parents involved, to uh, any administrators that may be involved, and as well as the students. And I think it's also important to let the folks know that right now none of the students are facing any disciplinary actions for their participation in this activity. As an isolated incident, Petley says this isn't how all teachers handle their students. The high majority of teachers in Leon County Schools are amazing individuals. They get up every day to work to help your your children achieve the next step. This is by no way a reflection of our teachers as a whole. Court documents also show that Footman's arraignment date is May 4th, and if she's found guilty, she could be facing up to a year in jail, 12 months probation, and other fines. Live in Tallahassee, Gabriella Mercury. Now we have an update to a story we brought you over the weekend. Leon County Schools addressing the firing and arrest of a middle school teacher who is accused of allowing fights to happen in her classroom. 23-year-old Angel Footman was fired last month after those fights were reported to a school resource deputy. Our Mike Rogers speaking to LCS about this today and coming through some of the court documents. Yeah, Julie, a probable cause affidavit that we obtained details of video evidence and sworn statements from students allegedly involved in the fights. Now, one video that was shown to administrators of a fight that reportedly took place on March 22nd. An investigator writes that Footman can be seen sitting at the desk, failing to intervene, making comments such as stop pulling hair. In sworn statements, several female students said the fights were pre-planned, not random. Them. And they claim Footman established several rules and allegedly invited some back for more fighting. An investigator details an interview she conducted with Footman about the incidents. Footman denied organizing the fights in any way, but acknowledged she didn't intervene, call for help, or report the fights, according to the documents. District PIO Chris Petley says this situation should not reflect on any other teachers in Leon County schools. And Footman's termination came immediately after they learned about the fights on March 24th. And we move rather quickly to ensure that the other teachers aren't impacted, that the students aren't impacted, and the parents aren't impacted, and we really try to head off anything we can um, at that moment. Like we said, this took place on, uh, we found out about it on March 24th, and action took place that day. Footman is scheduled for arraignment on May 4th. That's according to online records. Now, Petley says that at this point, there is no plans to proceed with any disciplinary action for the students that were involved. Reporting live, Mike Rogers, WCTV Eyewitness News. All right, Mike, thank you.